and today it's outdoor and this is gonna be me if I'm going outside for practice or take videos or photos for my Instagram challenges and today's uh, tutorial kind of is gonna be arm balancing and before we're going to do that we're going to warm up our shoulders and do a bit of um, warming up like coming to a downward dog always having those downward dogs as my warm-up every time uh, we can take our foot in between our ha uh, hands we're going to do a variation of warrior kanda and with open arms in a cactus and in eagle arms try to push this thing on the wall on the ground and let's try to put our elbows on the ground just trying to stretch this hamstring back and come up inhale and look up and be grateful then let's put our palms on the ground and let's come and say down our dog again let's stay in here and connect with your breathing and again let's switch let's do that again i've just I've got a bit of disturbance from my hair and we're going to do a variation of warrior again and up come into high lunge and come into your warrior cactus pose and to our eagle arms and let's try to put those eagle arms on the ground and relax try to connect with your breathing and inhale exhale come on palms on the ground and come to your normal downward dog look in between your arms foot in front and try to put your shoulder under your knees and let's get into a binding twist stay here and stretch that front knee and open your chest while you're grabbing your hands in there and come into your normal downward dog as your fisting pose and again let's switch and we're going to the other side we're going to put our shoulder under our knees and grab your hand open open your shoulder and try to put your chest up and straighten your front knee front foot and palms on the floor look forward and come to your normal downward dog and knees on the floor untuck your toes and come into your child's pose forward on the floor and come into your all fours and push to your downward dog walk in, in between your hands come into your sitting position and let's do our jano shesasana and fold one foot and bend grab your knee in here and grab your foot in here and bend try to 
push your belly towards your thigh and lengthen your spine in here and sink in and let's get into our half lotus pose as be very careful because half lotus is very very complicated one and we're going to we're trying to grab our foot in here and try to push that knee down into the ground and try to twist try to twist from your waist and your shoulder and and come back and let's come into a variation of half lotus pose standing one this is also a little bit very straight uh, a little bit very intense intense so we have to be very careful again and let's go do our eagle hand you can stay in here as much as you want but please connect to your breath with your breathing and let's release and sit and we're going to do the other side bend your knee bend your foot your heels towards your navel stretch your other arm other hand in here and try to bend try to lengthen your spine lengthen your spine and stay and inhale exhale release and let's go again to lotus half lotus pose as i said lotus half lotus pose is very intense one because it consists of so many thing in here and we are trying to grab our foot in here with our opposite hand so that we can twist and try to push your knee on the ground try to twist it's detoxing twisting are mostly on detoxing and again let's come into your lotus knee variation be very careful because it consists again of hips stretching in here and inhale exhale and come to release that foot okay come into your full seated position release the thigh those legs those feet shake 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 and grab the outer side of your feet and try to push your belly towards your thigh you can look up and try to bend just relax if you are doing your bending just relax and let's get up and now we're going to do an arm balancing that's called Ikapada Kondinyasana. And we try to put our shoulder under our knee and you try to lift it up, up and that's how you're going to fly head up in here and release and let's do the other side and let's put our foot outside the, uh, your arm your arm in here and try to hook your shoulder under your knee and be sure to be strong in here and up. release and come into your downward dog downward dog you 
inhale exhale and relax in here and let's do the epk2 ika pada kondinyasana 2 which is consists of a side crow but you're going to open your feet in here so you're going to put your elbow towards your knee and elbow towards your hips in here and then fly head up in here you're not going to put it in the ground and release and let's switch let's do the other side knee on your uh, knees on your elbow and your hips also into the other elbow and let's try to balance in here and open our feet in here and yes this is one kind of arm balancing um arm balancing are kind of my practice because it gives me more in more 